Now, your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Joey Marino. Good morning, everybody. Yesterday's winter storm left much of the state line under four to eight inches of snow. You can see our top report coming in from Albany, Wisconsin at seven inches of snow. DeKalb at 6.1, Beloit at six. And then we also had Stockton come in at five inches down to Genoa, which reported 4.4 inches. Now, Rockford was on the lower end of that spectrum, only getting about 2.9 inches from Monday into Tuesday. But as we take a live look this morning up in Beloit, Wisconsin, you can see that we're starting off with a lot of sunshine for our Wednesday morning. Yesterday's winter storm uh, left the area by the evening, allowing for some clearing to occur overnight last night, and that has brought down temperatures substantially as compared to what we walked out to on Tuesday morning. Right now we're about 10 to 15 degrees colder in most spots, and it's not helping that we still have that northerly wind out there. For the most part, winds right now are about 5 to 10 miles per hour, but that's putting down our wind chills right near the zero mark here in Rockford, but elsewhere you can see that we're starting out below zero. So you're definitely going to need to prepare for that cold uh, before you head out the door. Make sure to pack on those layers. And then if your car was parked outside overnight last night with that clearing that we saw, definitely could encounter some patchy frost on your vehicle. So take a couple of minutes to scrape that off. But by the time we get into the morning commute, looking pretty quiet out there as we have uh, some sunshine to start, but clouds are quickly on the increase from the southwest. You remember that snowstorm that brought Arizona a good amount of snow yesterday? That's moving to our southwest. Now, thankfully, because of this high pressure system, we're not going to be dealing uh, with snow today. We may deal with some clouds on the increase this morning, turning skies mostly cloudy. But as that system passes to the south, it's going to keep all the snow chances to the south. But our southernmost areas could see maybe about a passing flurry or two. But let's take a look at that using Futurecast. That system passing to our south, once it does, it's going to allow for dry air to filter in. So we are going to see skies clear out by the time we get into this evening. So mostly clear skies tonight, along with that fresh snow on the ground is going to make for a much cooler start to the day tomorrow. Temperatures around zero, possibly a few spots dropping into the negatives by tomorrow morning. We'll also start off with a little patchy fog, but that's going to give way to a lot of sunshine for our Thursday as that high pressure system moves overhead. Now, snow definitely has an impact on our high and low temperatures, and that's because once we get a good amount of snow, the sun's heat tries to melt away at that snow, but some of the sun's rays actually bounce back into space, and that results in lower chances for the surface to heat up, and that's going to allow for cooler temperatures over the next couple of days. We're going to stay pretty dry thanks to that area of high pressure, but take a look at temperatures. 20s for highs today and tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, definitely need to make sure to layer up once again as we're going to be near negative 1 degrees. Now, 21 for a high today, mostly cloudy early on, but then gradual clearing heading into uh, the overnight hours. Tonight, we drop down to negative 1. Some spots still in the single digits, but overall, mostly clear clear and cold into our Thursday. Now, overall, though, we keep the sunshine into Friday. Have to keep an eye on a system that could bring some impacts and possibly some snow going into Saturday night into Sunday. Back to you.